Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about what is the accounting equation. The accounting equation states that a company's total assets are equal to the sum of its liabilities and its shareholders equity. This straightforward relationship between assets, liabilities and equity is considered to be the foundation of the double entry accounting system. The accounting equation ensures that the balance sheet remains balanced. That is, each entry made on the debit side has a corresponding entry on the credit side. The accounting equation is also called the basic accounting equation or the balance sheet equation. Understanding the accounting equation, the financial position of any business, large or small, is based on two key components of the balance sheet assets and liabilities owners equity or shareholders equity is a third section of the balance sheet the accounting equation is a representation of how these three important components are associated with each other assets represent the valuable resources controlled by the company while liabilities represent its obligations both liabilities and shareholders equity represent how the assets of a company are financed if it's financed through debt, it will show as a liability and it's, if it's financed through issuing equity shares to investors, it will show in shareholders equity. The accounting equation helps to as, assess whether the business transactions carried out by the company are being accurately reflected in its books and accounts below are examples of items listed on the balance sheet. Assets include cash and cash equivalents or liquid assets, which may include treasury bills and certificates of deposit, accounts receivables, list of the amounts of money owed to the company by its customers for the sale of its products, inventory is also considered an asset. The major and often largest value asset of most companies to be that companies, machinery, buildings and property. These are fixed assets that are usually held for many years. Liabilities. Liabilities are debt that a company owes and costs that it needs to pay in order to keep the company running. Debt is a liability whether it's a long term loan or a bill that is due to be paid. Costs include rent, taxes, utilities, salaries, wages, and dividend payables. Shareholders' equity. The shareholders' equity number is a company's total assets minus its total liabilities. It can be defined as the total number of dollars that a company would have left if it's liquidated all of its assets and paid off all of its liabilities. Retained earnings are part of shareholders' equity. This number is the sum of total earnings that were not paid to shareholders as dividends. Think of retained earning as savings since it represents the total profits that has been saved and put aside for future use. Accounting equation formula and calculation assets is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. The balance sheet holds the elements that contribute to the accounting equation. Locate the company's total assets on the balance sheet for period. Total all liabilities which should be a separate listing on the balance sheet. Locate total shareholders equity and add the number to total liabilities. Total assets will equal the sum of liabilities and total equity. As an example, say the leading retailer XYZ Corporation reported the following on its balance sheet for its latest full fiscal year. Total assets $170 billion, total liabilities $120 billion and total shareholders equity is $50 billion. If we calculate the right hand side of accounting equation, equity plus liabilities, we arrive at $50 billion plus $120 billion is equals to 170 billion dollars which matches the value of the assets reported by the company 
about double entry system the accounting equation is a concise expression of the complex expanded and multi term display of a balance sheet essentially the representation equates all uses of capital assets to all sources of capital where debt capital leads to liabilities and equity capital leads to shareholders equity for a company keeping accurate accounts every business transaction will be represented in at least two of its amount accounts for instance if a business takes a loan from a bank the borrowed money will be reflected in its balance sheet as both an increase in the company's asset and an increase in its loan liability if a business buys raw materials and pays in cash it will result in an increase in the company's inventory while reducing cash capital because there are two or more accounts affected by every transaction carried out by a company the accounting system is referred to as double entry accounting the double entry practice ensures that the accounting equation always remains balanced meaning that the left side value of the equation will always match the right side value in other words the total amount of all assets will always equal the sum of liabilities and shareholders equity in other words the total amounts of all assets will always equal the sum of liabilities and shareholders equity the global adherence to the double entry accounting system makes the account keeping and tallying process more standardized and more foolproof the accounting equation ensures that all entries in the book and records are vetted and a verifiable relationship exists between each liability or expense and its corresponding source or between each item of income or asset and its its source limit of accounting equation although the balance sheet always balances out but the accounting equation can't tell investors how well a company is performing investors must interpret the numbers and decide for themselves whether the company has too many or too few liabilities not enough assets or perhaps too many assets or whether its financing is sufficient to ensure its long term growth real world example Below is a portion of Exxon Mobil Corporation's XOM balance sheet in millions as of December 31, 2020. Total assets were $362,597. Total liabilities were $163,659. And total equity was $198,938. So this is it for today guys for accounting equation. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.